Welcome back to GB Guns. We've got another writer right along. I have a few of these North American Arms mini revolvers in for an article I'll be writing and thought I'd give you guys a peek. This one is the Ranger in 22 Magnum. Pretty cool little gun coming up next on GB Guns. So as some of you have come to expect, simple white box, beautiful case. I've said it over and over again because I'm impressed every time. This is an awesome hard case to have your gun come in. It's lockable and already got the eyelets in it for running cables if you wanted to use this as a mini safe. Open it up. We have a note to check underneath the foam for all of our paperwork. Foam top, foam bottom, and under here you've got the keys for the lockbox and all of your paperwork, including, of course, the standard obligatory stuff. And there's our manual. Very simple manual because it's a rather simple firearm, but it's got some pretty cool features to it. Excuse the thunder in the background. Tacticity and Tacticity Jr. are uh, practicing their dashes. All right, I'm gonna get this out of the way and we'll take a look at the Ranger. Look at this little guy. <laughs> I'll zoom in for you. Tiny little thing, this is in 22 Magnum, and what I think is extra cool about this one is it's a break action. Come on, oh, sorry, hammer back a little further. There we go. Um, much like the Schofields, and you might see you've got an extractor there that rises for you. Now, it's probably not going to fling the shells out, but it's at least going to lift them up and make it a whole lot easier for reload. What I've been impressed with these things is the machining and detail on them. Now these are made in Provo, Utah. And as you can see, everything has been ground and polished flush. And they're tiny. Little mini revolvers. The, ham or the trigger is exposed and you don't have to worry about that because they're single action only. Of course, I'm not going to dry fire or rim fire. You never want to do that. but. I'll rest my thumb on here to show you. Nice, firm, clean detent clicks. And the cylinder can be rotated and then you can rest the hammer down because as you see on the end of the cylinder here, these notches right there are where you can rest the hammer so that while you've got this loaded, it's drop safe. Hammer rests on that notch and that way if it's ever dropped and the hammer is hit, it's not going to hit the rim of your 22 mag ammo. Now we did do another 22 mag from North American Arms rather recently. They will also be in there. The hog leg, this is their six inch barrel 22 mag with a slightly different setup. What looks like your loading lever is actually protecting or concealing the rod that you pull out to drop the cylinder. Neat little piece. This guy that's not necessary because it's brake action. So you fling like that and now you can unload and reload. Really cool to see that in such a tiny thing. I've always had a soft spot for the Schofield brake action style designs. Uh, many of you may have seen the videos we did on those. I don't have those guns anymore, unfortunately. I had to send them back. They were only loan from the manufacturer so that you know, I could be the patsy, make their stuff popular, and then they get the gun back and I'm left with memories. But <laughs> anyways, um, this is the Ranger. The sights, little notch and a little post up front, but give you an idea there. We're going to chrono this, of course, with uh, number of different loads and see what kind of energy you get out of here because these things are cute they're handsome they're fun they've got that novelty for sure but curious about actual energy and where this could be applicable because I mean look at this break action 22 mag that fits in the palm of my hand that means this is very easy to carry it's very safe to carry since you've got those notches there and it's single action only so is this the kind of thing that you shove in a pocket holster of course, to keep stuff out of the barrel. Um, while out on the ranch or on the farm, on your property, to take care of rodents and little things like that, 
Is this something that is a backup or emergency self-defense weapon? We'll take a look. Um, like I said, we're going to run those rounds through Chrono. We'll see what kind of energy you get out of it and compare it to more your more standard modern self-defense options. But beautiful pieces. Uh, the craftsman on, craftsmanship on these things is just gorgeous. Uh, makes them something you'd be proud to own. I just want to look into what all the applications of them are. Curious to hear your thoughts on these mini revolvers. Uh, they've been around for a long time. They're nothing new, just something that kind of hasn't had much attention lately. And uh, I think they're neat and I think they're different. And those of you who've been with the channel for a while know I like things that are different. But anyways, that's the Ranger from North American Arms. We might bring you to the range with us when we do this, or you might just have to wait for the article for the full details. Just wanted to give you a peek. Thanks for watching.